when it comes time to make your buffer, I've provided the buffer components in this box here, you do need to read the labels. Making the wrong choice of bottle is a very common source of error in this lab. The only buffer component that is not here is the glacial acetic acid. Glacial acetic acid is in the fume hood way over there. The fume hood has two switches, one for light and one for the fan. The fan pulls air from the room and sends it up a smokestack on the roof. This is to keep you safe from any harmful vapors or irritating vapors. You'll want to use the fan today when you're weighing out glacial acetic acid. If your buffer requires you to weigh out glacial acetic acid, it must be kept in the fume hood. You'll use this balance. It has draft shields around the platform. This protects it from air currents. You'll need to open a door and put your beaker on the platform. Close the door. Zero the beaker. This now reads zero, 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 zero. It has one more decimal place than you're used to. I will drip the glacial acetic acid into the beaker until I get the desired quantity. I recommend you use the top door for this. So I put in two drops and you can see the mass. Don't go too fast. The scale takes a moment to adjust, but I can weigh out a very precise quantity here. Confirm that with all the doors closed, I have 0 0.318 grams, very precisely measured. I recommend that you add water to your concentrated acetic acid prior to removing it from the hood. The concentrated acid has a very powerful odor. You'll recognize it, it's the smell of vinegar, but it's very powerful unless you dilute it, as I've done here. There are two pH meters set up for your use. The one on the right is set up to measure between pH 7 and 11. It's calibrated for that pH range. The one on the left is calibrated for the lower pH range of 4 to 8. So try to use the correct meter based on the pH of your buffer. A reminder on how to use the pH meter. If it's not showing anything, briefly press the power button. Take out the electrode from its resting buffer and rinse into the wash beaker with the distilled water provided. Measure your sample, rinse off before you return it to its original buffer location. This one here should read a pH of 7.0 on the meter. The other one should read 4.0. When you reach the titration phase of the lab, you'll see I have provided one molar NaOH half molar NaOH, one molar HCl, universal indicator. It may be that your instructor asks you to use half molar HCl. I have not provided that on the table, but it's very easy to make. You would take a volume of water, perhaps 25 milliliters, distilled water. You would take 25 milliliters of one molar HCl. I'm diluting the acid from one molar to half molar. So this will do it. I diluted by a factor of two. What was once one molar is now half molar. When you measure your pH, make sure your entire team is here. Some people have not yet learned how to use a pH meter. They let somebody else do it last week. So make sure your entire group is here for measuring the pH. When you get to the titration phase, 
your pH measurement doesn't have to be precise. So at that stage, think speed is more important than accuracy and swirl it, get a reading, go back and titrate some more.